What is up, YouTube? Mr. Porkchop back here with another video. Today's video is going to be a quick one. I am currently working on two different classes at the same time. So I've been really busy um, trying to get through my software engineering class, which is basically creating like this 20 page proposal um, where you're basically kind of pretending that you're a software company that's, you know, trying to pitch your product to another company trying to buy it. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to do any videos on that. The other um, class that I'm doing is uh, algorithms and data structures too. And that's where I got this example from. Um, I switched around some of the class names and stuff just because I didn't want to uh, copy it straight from the book. Um, but I was just going to go through this example and um, kind of share it with you guys, kind of show you how it works. And um, it, yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty fun, pretty fun little uh, example. I had a lot of fun looking through it and kind of learning from it. So I thought it might be a good thing to make a video on. All right, so before I get started with this, I just want to say, please um, leave a like for this video if you guys like it. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, like I'm almost up to 100 subscribers, which is awesome for me. Thank you guys so much. Um, and also uh, leave me a comment below if you guys would be interested in seeing videos maybe like every three or four months on lifting um, because someone actually commented on my last video the video I did a while back of UF powerlifters program um, which I've actually just hit a new PR recently of two, 260 in that video I was doing 245 um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that or if you think it's something I should keep completely separate from this channel um, yeah so I'm just kind of interested to see but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this um basically this is called like a heuristic knapsack problem um i think that i think i'm saying that right basically heuristic algorithms from what i've been reading are just algorithms that try to find a very quick solution and aren't necessarily um concerned with getting the most optimal solution so for this one the problem is going to be in our case uh, a toy chest that can hold a certain weight of toys and then having different toys of varying prices and trying to get the most um trying to get the most expensive toys to fit inside of our um inside of our toy chest so i mean kind of think of it as like all right you can go into a store and you can grab a certain weight of items you're going to want to get the most expensive items so in order to do that uh, we have a couple classes here that we defined at the top. One is the toy class, which has a weight and a price. And then our toy chest, which has a weight and toys, which is going to be a list of the toys in that chest. And then below that, we also have a function here that is going to basically take those two classes and it's going to sort through um, our toy list and basically set it up in reverse order. Um, by price so the most expensive ones are going to be in the beginning and then kind of go like that um, after that it basically lets you know how much weight is left in the chest and then it goes through your list of toys that you have like your different options and it will place those toys into the chest until it reaches its max weight and then it won't put any more in if the max once it goes over the max weight um, so if you guys want to see it actually running down here is where I created uh, four different toys that we had, can pick from and you have their weight and their prices and then basically you have those all stored in a list and then our initial toy list is just going to be an empty list and that's what we're going to be using when we create uh, the, the, um, the toy chest basically. So we are going to have our toy chest here and it's going to have the max weight that the user just input and then it's going to be holding an empty list for now and then when we use our function here to sort through both our list um, we're going to use this list and yeah so that's pretty much what we got then it will go down here and it'll have um, basically go through it and sum up the different weights and the prices and at the bottom it's going to print out um, pretty much the result it's going to tell you all right with this specified weight you can fit these items into your um, into your um, toy chest so we'll go ahead and run it you can see it has for max weight I will put in let's see we have 10 20 
40, uh, close to 50 pounds. So we'll put in like 30 pounds maybe. And then it'll tell you right here, um, toys in the toy chest are basically um, these two toys here, the one for 20, which was $155, and the one for four, um, because basically the four pound item was more expensive than our other 10 pound item, and the 15 pound item was too large to fit. So instead of taking the 10 pound item, it's gonna take the $50 item because again, it's gonna be set up so that the most expensive ones are in the beginning row list. And then after that, it'll tell you basically the total weight of the toy chest is 24 pounds, even though we we specified the max weight was 30. Um, and then the total price of everything in the toy chest is 205. So there you guys have it. Um, this way of this algorithm basically from what I was reading is like i said going to give you a very quick result and it's going to probably be pretty close to optimal but not always optimal so depending on the weights and the prices and what you set the max weight to it's it's always going to look for the most expensive item that can fit into the knapsack but that doesn't mean that that's always going to be the best option you know what i mean so um, there are cases where the most expensive item might not be the best item to place next into your, your toy chest. So anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, for now, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments if you, um, if you enjoy this and you want to see more videos like this. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos on algorithms in general, because as I go through my class um, for data structure and algorithms too, I'm going to try to keep note of certain examples that I really like and just certain things that I'm learning. I'm going to try to create content on my YouTube channel um, to kind of show you guys what I've been learning because it's always more fun for me too to try to explain what I'm learning and kind of helps me retain that information. So uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and um, continue. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm almost up to 100 subscribers now, which is awesome for me. Um, I really appreciate that. And I love interacting with you guys. So uh, please leave me some comments. All right.